here today to share with you um, my sense of the world. I wonder a lot about chance happenings of why bad things happen to this person, but not that person, how random it is when tragedy strikes. This quote by Edward Stemming really spoke to me. Coming from a traditional sculpture background, I've always wanted to dispel the stereotype of the fine artist being an outsider to anything concrete. Here are some of my um, early works in chronological order. This is a piece called Insomnia, showing the discomfort of one's tossing and turning over time. Here's another installation where figures of people made of wet sand disintegrate over time due to the sand being exposed to chance conditions of its environment, like Pompeii. This is a 3D printed human wheel sink that I sculpted to visualize a toxic culture where people are forced to conform to each other, melding into a cyclic abyss. This was an installation in a Providence waterfront where I sought to quantify my presence. Each piece is exactly the bounding dimensions of myself at five foot two inches and about two feet across. It was my way to visualize a time series of myself moving through space. This next installation represented the messiness of being human, of human fleshiness, uneasily constrained and bounded by structure. Here is a piece expressing time, memory, and the trauma of birth deformities, capturing the ephemeral state of life as a chance happening. First, I explored anomalies and glitches of human creation, paralleling the casting process of flash lines, irregular protrusions, lack of material, melting from environmental conditions. Another refinement of this project, project was um, fetuses embedded in soap here, which is two and a half inches, which is at 13 weeks of gestation. We were all the size ones, connected through all time through birth, connected all at one point through the umbilical cord. I started using the medium of soap because one can think artistic concepts in the comfort of their own routine of daily cleansing. I realized here that accessibility was also an important theme for me. So since the 2011, I've been interested in onboarding more technical tools for digital fabrication and computer graphics so that I can be more useful to others. With CAD software, I created um, a number of things. And uh, for example, along the way, I made tea, tea cups, a biology VR lab um, to allow more people access to expensive laboratory tools. And I've also been developing a library of ergonomic shapes for the hand for using handles, controllers, and any device involving the hand. As an artist, well, this is, this is a video showing um, the process of 3D scanning different um, postures of the hand, uh, capturing that 3D scan, making a shape, 3D printing it, refining that shape, um, getting some feedback from various people. Show of hands, how many people here have been in a car accident in the New York City area? Yeah, so this was a plot that I generated of uh, motor vehicle accidents um, in the last six months from November 1st to April 21st, 2019. Um, and I did this because as an artist, I've always wanted to help people reflect on their place in the world. And with data, I believe in doing the same. There were around 100,000 reported accidents around this period, and 20% of them, or 20,000 of them, reported injuries. There are about 500 accidents a day that gets reported in the five boroughs, and over 100 people have died in the last six months in the New York City area. Um, this is um, a plot of uh, New, York City, uh, New York City city bikes in the last year, uh, from April to um, March of this year. Um, this is like another version with the overlay of uh, motor vehicle accidents in the, six month, in the last six months, and this is showing um, a time frame of between 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. You can see that in the middle of that spoke area is the Bedford Avenue um, subway stop in Williamsburg. Um, it, it kind of like there's a lot of people <laughs> riding bikes there as you can um, kind of expect. This is a time series um, hour by hour of um, city bike data uh, in the last year, again from April of 2018 to March of 2019. Um, from Asking a friend who works in local news, it seems that news platforms are pressured to push out content as quickly as possible. Developing stories are important, and they don't normally take a lot of investigation to produce. I, on the other hand, have been interested in understanding how does the tragic incidents of the world, world news compare to the world that I know. Um, 
There is definitely more that can be done, such as clustering, superimposing with data. I could have done a k-means um, a k-means clustering of all this location data, but it's pretty apparent a lot of the patterns that we can see here. I found that all I can do is to have the deepest understanding of myself possible, because that's all that I can do. And in turn, the problems that I solve for myself will benefit for others, because we're all very much alike. Um, a lot of this work that I've done was um, based on a tutorial on Medium by Vincent Loninchi, and I'm still in the process of developing my body of work, but just wanted to show what can be done with basic open data that's out there for everybody to use. Thank you.